All right, Shalom. We're the brothers of a great millstone that branch out in Des Moines. First and foremost, we give all praises on and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And um, Lord willing, is going to be a quick little response to uh, Apostle Gabal's lesson he did about um, the year 2000 thing. You know, it was uh, just an angle I want to touch on that he had mentioned within the lesson. You know, so I just uh, start out with the scripture. This is the book of, um, I think it was Hosea 8. Um, so like, let me find a scripture. It says, in the third day we shall live in his sight. Oh, should have narrowed that down more. Hosea 6. This is uh, Hosea 6. I'm going to start at 1. It says, Come and let us return unto Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, for he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. In the dirt, in the third day he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Now, Apostle Gabal went into explaining how we're in the third day now. Now, when you go to Genesis, the first chapter, the first chapter explains the uh, let you know when the day starts. Now, in Genesis, the first chapter, it says the evening and the morning were the first day or the second day, so forth and so on. So we know that the day starts in the evening. So therefore, we're in the third day, but we're in the evening. We're in the night of the third. We're in the night of the third day. You see? So when our Lord and Savior returns, that's the sun rising. And that's where, you know, we want to focus on this lesson. Now, in the book of Malachi, this is a, uh, yep, this is a scripture that uh, the Apostle Gabal brought out. This is uh, Malachi 4 and 2. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Man, that's going to the nuclear missiles. That shows you the day of the Lord, the, the second coming of the Messiah whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, his real name being Yahweh Shai, goes hand in hand with this World War III and this nuclear war that's about to take place. So the more tension that arises between these different countries, the closer uh, uh, we see us getting to the return of our King and our Savior, as it's going to go into it. talks about the day burning as the oven. But what's going to cause this day to burn as the oven? Nuclear fire. All right, and then the next verse, it goes into the return of the Messiah, all right? It's verse 2. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son, as you can see, S-U-N, the Son of Righteousness, arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as cows of the stall. So going into how our Lord and Savior, he is that day that's coming, as it is written in, um, 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 um what's that, uh, Romans? 13? Yeah, 13 and 11 is... God book of romans chapter 13 and 11 it says in that knowing the time that is now it is high time to wake out of sleep you waking out of sleep why because the day is approaching man you see for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed so the sun is about to rise you know lord willing that's what i'm entitled uh the lesson is that the, the the day fast approacheth in the day which is what the day star represents our lord and savior yahweh shah Revelation. Yeah, I was just going to go there. You got it? Yeah. Revelations 22 and 16, it says, I, Yahweh Shai, have sent my angel to testify you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, him being the offspring, meaning he's from the bloodline of King David to Solomon, all the way down to Joseph, who put his seed into Mary, all right, which makes Yahweh Shai fulfill the prophecy of him being the offspring through the seed of King David, man. It says, I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the bright and morning star. And the morning star is what? That's the sun. Mm -hmm. So our, our Lord is what? He's the son of righteousness, man. You know? In the book of uh, Matthew, let's, uh, I'm going to grab Matthew. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 17. In one, it says, And after six days, Yahweh Shah taketh Peter and James and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into an high, a high mountain apart. And was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. You see? Slow down, bro. 
So it represents a uh, uh, what, man? It represents that our that our Lord and Savior is what he 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 represents that light. He is that sun, you know. It says uh, a man's wisdom maketh his face to shine uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, man. All right, so the, the Lord was, he, he was the embodiment of wisdom. So he had that shine, he had that glow, all right? And when he comes back, he's coming in his glory, man. When the Lord comes back, uh, uh, it talks about he's coming back in the brightness, man. All right, he's coming back in his power and great glory and in the clouds, man. And we living in them times now, okay? It's Revelation 1 and 13. It says, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the son of man, clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, right? Going into what uh, 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 John seen, how he's describing him, how he's a so-called black man with woolly hair, right? And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. You see? So our Lord and Savior is that light, man. You know? And he is that day that's fast approaching. That's that day that we hasten toward. You know, as it is written in the book of Second Edris, it says uh, 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 the kingdom is already prepared for us. Watch. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah said, I go to prepare a place for you, man. That whither I am, ye shall be there also. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. So our Lord and Savior is on his way. He's a, 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 the day fast approacheth, man. You know? This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 8. It says, and then shall the wicked be revealed. And that's what we see going on right now. The wicked is being revealed. All right? That covering cast, that veil, all right? It, it, it's, it's being uncovered. All right? And that's what they're trying to stop. We, we're putting out all these lessons on the Jews being, in, uh, the so-called Jews in the land of Israel today being imposters and, and, and uh, calling them Edomites and, and the rest of these so-called white people, Edomites. All right, that's the wicked being revealed by the spirit of the Lord's mouth, showing you that we're in the end times, showing you that we're in the last days. Esau, Edom, as it says in Lamentations, the uh, 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 Edom being made naked. All right, meaning what? Being uncovered, being exposed for the devil that the Bible speaks of. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Destroy with the brightness of his coming, man. When the Lord's coming back, he's coming back. And like I mentioned in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, in his glory, all right, in his power with his holy angels, all right? And it's talking about the chariots, him returning in his chariots, so-called UFOs, so-called UAPs. All right, and they're gonna, and he says it's gonna come in, uh, in battle formation, man. All right, as birds flying, shall we defend Jerusalem? Okay, so the Lord, as it says in Revelation 19, he's coming to uh, in righteousness, he doeth judge and wage war. And who's he coming to wage war for? All right, he's coming to wage for, war for his people, as it says in the book of Joel, the third chapter, man. All right, for the con for the for his heritage and his people. All right, that's right. This is the book of um, Second Peter. 1 and 19, it says, We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Right? So it says what? We have a more sure word. We got this word. So this word is the light that shineth in a dark place, man. It says, um, Until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. So it says, Until the day dawn, right? The coming of the day in the day star, which is that sun of righteousness, arise in our minds, man. You see? So it's speaking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, being that knowledge, being that light. As it is written, it says, they, they, they was in darkness, have seen a great light. And that's our Lord and Savior, man. And upon his return, that's when everything is going to be turned right side up, man. In the book of Sirach, it says, what, the, uh, the physician cometh to cut, cut off a long disease, the disease is the what? The, the, the wickedness that's being spread throughout this earth. Through who? Through Esau, Edom, man. So the Lord is coming down to cut all that down, man. Right. And the disease is also these damn bodies, man. Paul talked about it. He talked, he said that, uh, he said that in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. He said, who will change me from this vile body? So when the Lord comes, he's going to change us. Because it's that nigga vocab he talking about. 
Yeah, and they think they're going to get superpowers and try to make us out like we're crazy. Well, it's all written about in the Bible, the same scriptures that you say that you believe in. And the Lord said that uh, in the book of 1 John, it says, we don't know what we shall be, but we know that when the Lord makes his return, we will be like him. Meaning he's going to change us from these corruptible bodies and put us into incorruptible bodies. As it says in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, we're going to have that same glow. We're going to have that same, not as bright as Yahweh Shai, but he, it says that what well, he took us out of uh, darkness into his marvelous light sure. how is we taken out of darkness into his marvelous light by him putting his spirit upon us by him giving us the wisdom of the scriptures man and then that light is going to be literal in the kingdom man when we change out of this mortal flesh into immortal flesh into incorruptible bodies it says in the book of daniel's the 12th chapter that them that turn many to righteousness shall shine as the stars in the heavens man all right so it starts with yahweh shai yahweh shai is the, is the main one he's the brightest time. star exactly he's the sun that's the that's the that, that, that's the brightest star. Yep. You know, in that the First Corinthians fifteen, you mentioned it said that there's a different glory uh -huh. to stars, man. So yep. certain stars is is brighter than other uh, other stars, man. Uh -huh. And that's just what it is. And to touch on the topic you mentioned about whole cap, here it is, nigga. You claim to believe in the Bible. Well, didn't Elijah call down fire from heaven? Wouldn't that be called? Wouldn't, wouldn't ain't that spiritual power? Ain't ain't right. that receiving power? Right. In Revelation, the 11th chapter, it says what? That these uh, uh, men have power to shut heaven, man, and to call down fire. How do you interpret that? How do you explain that, man? It says, they that wait upon the Lord shall mine up with wings. They shall run and not be weary. How do you explain these things, man? So fuck that dude, man, and what he think. Yeah, God. You know, hey, hey, so, hey, just a quick little uh, something through the spirit, man. Quick little in transit, you know, headed to the plantation, man. You know, but, um... Hey, hey, we pray that was edifying. The Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah for giving us the spirit to do that lesson, man. We give all praises on the glory too. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and the sincerity, always in charity. Hey, Shalom Machiam. Shalom.